Okay, this is installment two on using markers to write in glass. I found some more paint markers that I wanted to try. So if you haven't seen my first video, I'll drop a link, go check that one out. And now I found some additional ones that I wanna try. And so we'll see how they, how they do. So here's what I've got. I've got a set of Milwaukee ink saw markers. I have heard that these are really good to mark on your glass if you're gonna be cutting with a jet, or excuse me, with a uh, ring saw or maybe a tile saw that these don't come off. So, uh, well, if they don't come off in water, uh, then let's see how they do in the firing. So that's a Milwaukee brand. I got those at, um, uh, I just got these at the hardware store, like Home Depot. Um, there are some paint pens that are Sharpie brand that I found um, at Walmart. I'll check and see if they're on Amazon. Uh, these are Sharpie brand paint pens. I've got a, they only had fine in the black. Um, and then there's an extra fine white and an extra fine uh, metallic kind of a coppery bronze and silver. So we're gonna give those a try. And then they had also in that same area, this, um, I think it's actually, uh, let's see, Newell brand a painter's pen. They had a bajillion colors of these. I cannot afford that. I've already spent more than I should have on this silly test, but uh, you know, I'm just curious. So um, this is black, extra fine, no, excuse me, fine. They had different points on these as well. And I just got a good old fashioned black. So like the first test, I'm going to do uh, white and black tests. I'm gonna full fuse and I'm gonna cap a little strip of it. Uh, and I'm gonna do the front and the back. And then I wanna do a tack fuse, white and black front and back, but uncapped. So I've got uh, my handy dandy little log book here. If you're interested in these, they're on Amazon, they're in my store. And uh, I am going to take some notes as to what's what, because I'm going to forget when they're in the, uh, coming out of the kiln. So I'm going to write down what they were. I'm going to go ahead and mark these up. I'm going to get them in the kiln, and we'll fire it at a full fuse. That'll be, for me, uh, 1475 for 15 minutes. And then I'll show you what these look like uh, when they come out. All right, it is time for the reveal. So again, I did full fuse and I did tack fuse and the results are almost consistent across them. So let's talk about the full fuse first. The um, Milwaukee here, black, red, blue, green, gone. I can't see them on the top. I can't see them on the bottom. Um, now, again, I wouldn't necessarily rely on those to burn off, but on the black and on the white, um, even on the bottom here, absolutely, indistinguishable. Now on the tack fuse or tack fire that I fired to um, 1375, I can actually see the outline of all four of those. It just looks like, um, you can't, you probably can't see it. Um, but to me, let's see if I can catch a reflection. You might be able to see it there. I can't tell. But to me, it's just a ghost of an outline. I can see MW for Milwaukee and the four stripes. Um, and maybe kind of similar on the bottom, although it's harder to see on the bottom. But um, so I wouldn't say they, they burn off on tack fuse fully because there's a, a ghost of that left uh, on the white and maybe just a faint ghost of one of the colors here on the black. So uh, these not reliable in a firing, maybe has other uses in the studio, but not for any kind of marks on a firing. The black Sharpie also almost, so this was the, uh, paint, black paint Sharpie, almost indistinguishable. I can't see it at all on the black, on the full fuse white, maybe just a little bit. And that's only if I'm convincing myself. So it almost fully burned off on the white and the black, uh, both on the underside as well. You don't see that as all at all. The success came with, and I guess I'll cover this one too, this black one that I used at the very end, also completely gone. I can't, on the white one here that was tack fired, I can see where it says paint and a little bit of a line, but again, that's kind of a ghost of an image. So um, doesn't fully burn off maybe for some firings. On the um, white, I can't see it full fuse. Black, I can't see it full fuse. So the white did, uh, the white Sharpie paint marker 
did um, stay on uncapped, you kind of lose it in a capped, and then you kind of lost it on the back of um, this black full fuse that was against the, the uh, kiln paper. You can see the outline of it here on the white. Again, you, you lose it completely when it's capped, and then I can see it on the back here, uh, but maybe it's most pronounced on the tack firing. I can see it clearly there. You can see it clearly along the back and same on the black. Um, so the white, I would say, particularly at a tack firing kind of 1375 in my kiln, uh, seems like a winner. The copper has disappeared on the black in the full fuse. It seems to have stuck around, but as a faint blue line a little bit on the white. So I'm guessing it's just not strong enough to stand out on the back, on the black. At the tack firing, it almost kind of retained a little bit of its gold or kind of coppery color, uh, both on the top side and underside on the white, um, but it is hard to see it at all on the black, maybe just a little bit on the back. So again, from a white standpoint, the um, copper might work. And then the silver also turned white. And so um, against the black, you can tell a slight difference, but it stayed better on the back side. On the white, it almost looks exactly like the white next to it. I wouldn't even really be able to tell much of a difference to the silver versus white Sharpie. Same, maybe a little bit of a difference on the white tack fire. Um, it's a little, the white is still a little stronger. And then on the black tack fire, this I can convince myself that this is silver versus this, uh, which I wouldn't even necessarily call white the way that fired out. And then you can see it on the black as on the back as well. So I would say the copper was really not very successful, but that of all of these, you know, perhaps this white and silver Sharpie, depending on how you want to use them, uh, may work for you. If I were doing a black piece full fuse, the white's probably going to disappear on the back, but the silver's there. So anyway, I'll just take good notes. I'll write them all in my logbook here, but thought you would enjoy learning a little bit more of that. Take care. Bye-bye.